super quick tip for you. So this is just one of the most handy tools we have in our toolbox. So uh, super simple to make. It's just a hand drill with the straight part of a hex key inserted in. This is 7 by 64 because it's the most common size. So you just cut off the little rounded part there and you stick it in. And uh, it's, really good, it's really good for fast assembly and disassembly. So uh, why don't we just go through this channel here and demonstrate. So always make sure you're turning it the right side. So this is tightening, but we want to loosen it. So you flip the switch and now you're loosening. So let's stick it in. And there we go, it's out. Just a quick tip also, make sure you're not using these on polycarbonate. This is aluminum, so it's okay. But on polycarbonate, you could easily drill a hole straight through the polycarbonate. And also, you always want to keep your torque low here. So this is just to avoid stripping screws or your drill bit. Uh, this is another handy tool we have in our drill uh, toolbox. It's called. It's just a ratchet with a hex bit in it. Uh, it's good for loosening or tightening things, especially if you don't have room to turn your hex key all the way around. So why don't we just demonstrate? I am going to loosen one of these screws on this motor bracket right here. So there's a switch uh, on the ratchet itself that controls whether you're loosening or tightening. So I'm loosening right now. So if you hear a crank sound as you go, you're good. So as you can see, just going, going, going. I don't have to turn my thing all the way around like you would with the hex key. And as you can see, it's pretty loose now. And then um, this is the same thing. It's just a ratchet with a socket attachment to get reach for nuts. Thanks for watching and make sure to visit our website hotwiredrobotics.org for more tips and tricks.